asking you? No, I'm just asking you. Well, that's the wrong damn church you go to. Who? We got numbers wrote right down that says Jesus is the Son of God, right? Yeah. How big it is. They try to say Jesus is God. So we can come down through here and measure our metal. Of a human. Right. But Jesus is God. Just pre-making all these pieces while these guys are up there working. So by going around and Paul doing all the measurements and then Chris coming behind him and writing everything down, we know what every piece is, we know where it goes, we know how it starts, we know how it ends. And that's what Chris is handling now. He'll do the beginnings, the ends, just by what he marked down. These things are real handy. Don't try to bend that by hand, it won't come out for crap. That is the piece he's making there. That's going to be for the inside, which will butt up against the mower home. The other side, so that's the inside corner. When he gets down to the when he gets down to the other side here, he's already got his number, so he knows where to mark it. There it is. Look at that. So he already knows what the length is going to be and how long he needs to add for his lap. He knows everything. It's all wrote down on a piece of paper. And all this stuff that we're showing you are things that you can easily um, figure out by watching my playlist and uh, seeing us do it over and over and over again. I'm trying to get my videos a little bit more detailed so that so that you can actually see exactly what we do, right? Chris Watson, thank the Lord. Thank you, Chris, for coming. I really do appreciate it. He's worked on with us for a lot of jobs. He worked with me doing a bunch of these. Very experienced at it. We ended up coming up here to Nice, and we were short, short at least one guy. And Chris decided that he would come up here and help us out with his guy because he works for himself now. Chris does like I used to do back in the day, a little bit of everything with his guy, Bert. I don't do all of what I used to do. Now I kind of limit myself and pick and choose the things that I like to do the best. So that's what we do now. And Chris, he's a little bit younger than me. He's back where I was. Him and Bert, man, they work together. And they're actually both my neighbors. So works out pretty nice. Nice, South Carolina. And Chris came down here to help us out with Bert. Yep, like so appreciate it. I would have been here for five days, at least four good long days without him. Right, so Chris marks down. We cut our pieces at 10 foot long. Chris is marking down exactly how, where it needs to go in on the brake. And then we have a cutter head that has a number that is associated with it. mark that he puts it on right here we put it on that mark when he cuts that piece off the cutter head cuts out here it will be exactly the number that he wants that to be Set it in and out a couple times. Okay, one more time. Oh, look at that. Nice and tight. That's our hem. You're going to want to take it back out. And on my battle brake again, I have to stay about an eighth inch off of my there. So then you can see how the middle goes. Yep. And to 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Oh, that's pretty stuff. Pretty stuff. Pretty stuff. I like it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. One piece made. Good job, Crystal. I like it. 
Chris has been doing this long enough, he's got it down pat. We know that's a middle piece there because, or an end piece, because it doesn't have any bends in it at all. He's gonna go over here, he's gonna measure 10 feet, or 10 foot two, whatever he does. What do you go, 10 foot two? 10. 10 foot even. 10 foot even, that way we get so many out of one. Yeah, oh. since it's 50 feet, we don't run ourselves short on a piece. And have a little eight footer at the end or something. This stuff here is comes in a roll. You buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's called coil stock or aluminum fascia metal. And it comes 50 foot long by two foot wide. You can get textured or you can get smooth. You can get brown, black, different colors. We like going with the white um, textured, actually. So we, we cut them at 10 feet so that we have five pieces and we can make 10 pieces out of that five, basically. And once we start making these face of pieces, I should be over there helping him. So then at this point, he's going to cut that thing with a nice razor blade. You don't have to use snips. I mean, you just use a straight blade and a straight edge. He's going to cut that thing at 10 feet. Score it a couple times. You just bend it. She'll pop right loose. Cut it right Look at that. Pop. Done. Take that piece, put it over to the metal work. He'll mark. The number he puts on there is an inch and a half short of the actual number he wants because the cutter head that we use cuts out an inch and a half, correct? Yes. Actually, with this one, I'm marking it the width of the fascia board fascia. because it comes out when yep. you put the three quarter bit Three quarter. Underneath. Yep, okay, adds on after it right. So you cut it that number and it adds it adds itself. Yeah. I'm good. So that is the actual width on this one of the whole thing because he's not putting that ham in it like he did on that last one. So that lip right there is the one that's going to fold down onto the mobile home. So you just flip, take it, flip it, bend it 90, right? No, this is still the hem. Oh, you're still doing the hem? Yeah. Oh, you're still hemming, okay. Yeah. He's hemming. He's hemming. Not hemming and hauling, he's just hemming. slide it out you got a three-quarter inch right there like I say I keep it off of that about an eighth because this thing's gonna fold up and you don't want it catching all over the place and that out of 90 that's called a ham and this is where I'm talking about the trailer baby I don't have no white now snapping that's when you know you're there 
That is a pretty piece of metal right there. That's called a hem. And you do that so that that bottom edge, when it butts up against a piece of fascia, it's going to be nice and rigid. Because if you don't do that, it will look like the ocean going across there bad with just one bend. So that just gives you a good rigid end. Pretty simple. But you do have to have a metal brake to do this job. Mm -hmm. One of the angle was, though, so weird. Right Billy didn't have his end lifted. I was wondering why the end looked funny. Okay. And we we do that about an inch down from the top. Oh, we're doing two now? Yeah, two nails on this. Yeah, an inch down from the top and then one down below, right? Yes, sir. Just on these. Right. On the house itself, we only do it at the top. Yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. Yeah, one at the top, one at the bottom, that keeps these things in. That's beautiful, guys. See, that's what they're going to look like all the way around. Yeah. And that is, that's pretty work. One, like every two foot? Yeah. Just mark it. Put it up there, put the line on it. You know, that way, if it's not straight, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Got a couple of... You need a screw gun around there, Paul, and a little step ladder. Right. Take them things off. Very simple to do. Even if you're a rookie, you can do this. So if I'm not, if I'm not where you are, and you get a good carpenter out here, and they screw that down, make the marks on it, just like I show you on the video. If you make all them marks on the top and you screw them down and make sure you hit something when you put a screw in, you can't just put a screw in, it's got to hit something up there. So that's why you draw your line to make sure everything's perfect. And then leave that six inch overhang, attach your two before out here and you are going to town. Need a metal brake. And somebody that has a little bit of knowledge of one like Chris here, or Paul, or myself, or whoever has it. No, you ain't wrong, you're right. That was that was a good idea. Yeah. All right, let's, let's put a piece of metal out there for my battery dies. My battery's about to die. Say where you in? Probably about three inches. Three inches from the end. We slide the bottom piece in. No, that was supposed to be notched, Paul. That's where you're notching it, buddy. I'll cut it. I'll cut it out with the sauce off. Oh, really? Well, it's yeah. not just notch it. Yeah, just, just give it a Coming up. No. Here, Paul. Paul. Here comes another one. <laughs> Going down. Just gotta notch that piece out. Straight blade and a Why, why, did, why in the world did you do that? Yeah, I see that. I don't know. That was only supposed to be three quarters of an inch. Yeah. Not an inch and a half. Hey, just take that one, cut it off, and make them, uh, only have to make that piece the rest of the way. Yeah, uh, you right. got the snips. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, yeah, dumb. that was dumb. Yep. Yeah. It's okay, brother. I'll do it again. 
We won't hold it against you. Three quarters of an inch. Pencil's right here, bro. You put that in your pocket and keep that one. If you're interested, <laughs> he just fixed that man. Yeah, he can only go one way on tape. Can't roll backwards. Yep. Yeah, move. I'll move. Start coming up. Ain't coming up until he gets that folded over. Man, that coffee was better than yesterday. Huh? That coffee was better than the one yesterday. Yeah. I had a little wrinkle kick. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we do that, let's get some of it back. We just put the bucket on here. So we put the bucket down here. Hold on. Hey. Beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. You get it.
Fire burning or something. Yeah. You can smell it. That's us. Are oh, y'all smoking that back? We're, we're wide on open fire. on fire. On fire. fire. Hey, they on fire. Look at this. Can we get a sweet man on there? Nope. No, that's fine. It's fine. That ain't hurt nothing. That adds to the good. Won't hurt a thing. Won't hurt a thing. Back in the bucket. No, nah, you can. I can still do this. I don't know.
Come on up. <laughs> they gonna get you. You're already in the glue. Yeah. Yep. Push it, push it. Make me stretch. Yeah. No matter if you're doing the glue, you gotta stretch it much more. Hey, stop. Put the tape on. Uh oh. Oh shit. Just right here, yep. Yeah. Right you're there. good. Go uh, right, there. right there beside you. Right there. One foot, one piece behind you, Bill. Right there. Right oh there. yeah. Yep, that's it. No. Good catch, Dave. Good catch. You know how I thought it was? I seen the tape. Because you're looking. No, I seen the tape. Yep. That's why I laid it there, so when we rolled this back, we had the tape right there. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's easy rolling on it. It ain't sticking all that good. Do what? It's easy rolling on it. It's not sticking all that good. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> I don't know. Damn nose was running. Yeah. I got the tooth fed. Got some tissue in the truck. You know that's brain matter coming out, right? Up. Brain matter? Yeah, that's brain matter coming out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think you didn't make it. Oh, look at him in his Mercedes. I think you didn't make it. Car. Yeah. Screws in here he comes. He's coming now. Ladder in hand. Hey, you got to walk. We know how to how for the fish fishing board up. Hey. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't need that. Do the whole piece. Whole thing. Whole piece. Try not to hit that over there. Yeah, I'm gonna hold right back. Yeah, so what edge. we're doing here is we'll put the glue on that side of the rubber. And then we put it up on there. And we let this turn clear. And I'll show you that in just a second. Yep. Thank we you. let that turn completely clear. And then that makes yeah. it uh, more like uh, call it double sitting, but when we were doing laminate and you put two glues together. Yeah, laminate. Laminating. Laminating. Yeah, so basically laminating these two together immediately. Okay, so. just let them down there and we'll get them in here in just a minute. Donut. They do things wrong. All right. Off and done. We need to take a break anyway. Now let's do that back side. Once we get that back side done. So let me show you. Where I was at. This will uh, dry up and become a glue. So let's take a look right here. Let me show you. Now, let's get Milky 
ready? Roll it up in tight. Get that corner in tight. Yes, sir. Didn't go up the wall. No, we went up the wall. Just not far enough out on the rudder. Yeah. I went to your line. That you told me. Yeah. That's my bad. That's all right. Pull it down a little bit. Hold on, hold on. That's something under here. What you got? What is it? That's why we. That's why it's so important. It was a sliver. Okay. You see, that's why it's so important. With them slivers. Already stuck in the rubber, yeah. so I wanted to get it out of there. Yeah, we'll go ahead, donuts now. Yeah, like dry. Yeah, dry. Okay. Break time. See that, Billy? Huh? Look what Paul's doing. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the cut. Harder, not harder. 